made it to Platinum Raceway after probably the loudest and most ear-piercing drive that I've had in quite a while. Anyways, we're here for an event uh, for actually Taylor, the guy standing right there looking like he's on vacation. Uh, Taylor's Insane Turbo Systems. Actually, in a second, that boat right there has like a 500 cubic inch V8 in it with twin turbos. We're gonna go up and look at that in a second. Taylor just builds super insane turbo systems and they're typically like really fucking cool. Well, we're here a little bit early, but Gavin's here in the ZL1. I'm here in Zoe. This is actually going to be both of these cars' first time ever running in the quarter mile. So it's going to be really interesting seeing not just how close they are. Obviously, I expect that car to be faster, but we just really don't know how fast these two cars will go in the quarter mile yet. But more on this fucking boat over here. Look at this son of a bitch. Dude, look at this thing. Good God. The little Honda. So, mine has to be pretty hot for it to shoot fire. Yeah. So it makes like 700 yeah, ish. Yeah. Around that. Gavin, nice easy launch. Get it out there, figure it out. Ooh. I should probably have some earplugs. Definitely should have brought some earplugs. Yo, dude, how'd that, that go? Bad. That launch was pretty nasty. It, it launched decent, but it felt like it didn't make any boost. Yeah. It, it felt like it didn't make much power at all. And yeah. it should have made a lot. It should have made a lot that pass. Yeah. So, Downloading data log, going to see what it, what happened. You know, it's always something when... Hey, it's an auto. That's it's because it's the auto. It is the That's auto. That's the first thing I said. I was like, I missed my stick shit. <laughs> in this thing. You gotta go fast then. Yeah, I need some air. Drag strip. Last time we were at the drag strip, it was actually like 
three years ago at this exact place and i think the car ran probably like a 13.5 on street tires and it was na at the time i guess now we just we see how fast it goes in the quarter mile we're actually going to be running up against gavin which by the way if you're not following his channel check it out because it's dope as shit he's got a zl1 right there that we're going to be running against but uh yeah i have no idea how fast this car's gonna go he just ran an 11.2 so hopefully I can run anywhere in the 11s to make this somewhat entertaining. God damn, it's fucking hot. Oh, shit. It's hot as fuck. get out real quick and I'm gonna ask him what was on his time slip. Yo, you lose traction? Yeah. Huh? This is what I did. Yeah, they told me you spun. I tried to see if I could launch hard hard. It didn't work. Did you get a slip? Yeah. You ran 12-7. 12-7? Yep. Okay. Here you go. Damn. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. You wanna hold that? Yeah. 12-7? 12.7, so it's not bad. Faster than a 13.5, which is what it did in the past. Yeah, it's not bad, actually. Yeah, no. 260 foot with the tires Daniel has on there, pretty impressive. Yeah, that boy was bulking it. At least he looked like I wish that they had like a, oh, well, actually his mile per hour is great. 110? Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, yeah. almost 111. That's that's awesome. Yeah. Sweet. Take two. Take two. All right, <laughs> it's not as fast as we thought. Huh? Mine's not as fast as we thought. Not yet. Not yet. Get that 60 foot better than a 2 I'm going to try to. Me too. That's where I'm struggling right now too. <laughs> Damn. That's a clean ass truck. Ooh, the brakes on the front look interesting. Very fascinating. Very nice. Oh, what up, Sean? What up, dude? What's up? <laughs> we got the whole YouTube squad. <laughs> Oh, damn. Okay, bye. Sean stole my race, that motherfucker. Oh, I wonder who's gonna get the launch. Well, I already know who's gonna get the launch. Of course, Sean's going to.
want. That was definitely not that great. Thank you. All right. Well, let's see what that was. Oh my God, that was fucking awful. <laughs> So we were in on that one a 2560 foot. This this just broke. The car really is just not set up to do anything for the quarter mile. You gotta remember it's an autocross car. But it is interesting to see what the car is doing overall in general. So now we have we have room to improve. We can do more stuff. We can add wheels and tires to it. We can get a drag pack for the car. We can do a lot of stuff. That one was definitely not it. <laughs> it wasn't it? That one was way slower, but it definitely spun a lot more. I ran a 14-1 uh, on that one. I let out a little bit early though because I was spinning quite a bit. But I ran a 2560 foot. The last one was a 2060 foot. Well, it looks like right lane was better for that. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna get back in line. Fuck it. Hell yeah. the sauce. Look at this little bitch. Look at this. You look like a tangerine. You look like an orange. Civic smoke that truck. Yes. It's hot as fuck. Damn, it's real hot. Thank you. That 60 foot was even worse. Oh my god. Why is that 60 foot so bad compared to the last one? Alright, this time we're just gonna do an easy launch. Fuck that hard launch and shit. We're gonna launch this one real easy.
it's definitely time for me to either weld the diff or get an LFD. I think that's really just the root of all problems with this core. That is literally the part that is holding back this core than anything it does. Free racing, fucking drifting, drag racing, autocross, it doesn't matter. Like, the open diff is the only part holding this core back. We gotta get something. We gotta do something to get both of those things. So Gavin's been having issues with the ZL1 and not really like necessarily issues, just more of the fact that after the first run, he didn't really check tire pressure, but now checked it, it was a little bit high, a few pounds high, lowered it back down, got aggressive with the launch again, and it looked like it worked. So I assume he's gonna keep doing that. Also, by the way, my GoPro died. So we're gonna go ahead and call it quits on running the car because I just wanted to get some baseline numbers. Pretty happy with it. Ran a mid to high 12s. I think the fastest time was a 12.7, something like that to start with. So good spot for improvement. We got a lot to do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what happened? Trans fluid everywhere, that's all I know. Wait, do what? There's trans fluid everywhere. <laughs> really? Everywhere. Oh, that sucks, dude. So we can draw for chips. How you put an auto in something and slow down? Gonna prep the track. Start racing. <laughs> Lesson <laughs> learned for all you people. We're done with test and tune, so we're gonna go ahead and head out, get some food. I would stay and continue running, but unfortunately, the only class that this car can compete in is Pro Mod. And uh, I'll be honest, I don't really want to just run this car against a bunch of Pro Mods, especially if you know there's no reason to. I feel like it would be very counterproductive just to race pro mods and pro it'd probably just piss them off too. But Zoe held up really well today. I'm surprised that the car, like, it feels reliable. I haven't had a single issue or hiccup or anything with it all day. Definitely not what I was expecting to see. I just pulled the Z in and uh, yeah, I literally just got done driving this thing. I have no idea how much oil's in the car right now. That's just for me pulling it in. So like, good God. Do you remember you hit it's something? Not, well, me hitting something isn't what caused that because what hit was the, uh, the chassis brace underneath. Yeah, is it outside? Oh boy. Yep, so. 
That's where the car was. Oh my god, that is leaking horribly. What the fuck, Zoe? What are you doing? It's I don't think it's dripping anymore. It's done dripping. I guess it's only while it's running. I guess I have some figuring out to do. I gotta see why the car is all of a sudden just puking oil. And obviously, it's only while the car is running. So, um, hmm. It's still dripping. It's still dripping? Well, it's dripping slow at least. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're not already. Leave a like on this video because it helps me out a lot. And um, yeah, we'll be diagnosing Zoe real soon to see where the oil is coming from. So see y'all then.